Hi, it's Guy Harding again. This afternoon we're going to show you a little bit about suspension, handling, engine mounts and uh, chassis upgrades for the Mark 7.5 Golf R. So uh, bear with me for a minute and we'll run through all the products and give you a quick overview. Okay, here's an overview of what's going in our 7.5 Golf. Here we have racing line track sports coilovers. They're a monotube damper. You can see they have an adjustable camber plate on the top. They have single click adjustable compression and rebound damping. A nice unit. Here we have our Harding Performance Torque Control control arms developed in conjunction with Super Pro. They are a great thing. We've been on board with these things since day one. A lot of extra caster in here and a little extra camber. Really tighten up the chassis as well with the new bushings. We have our sway bar links also developed in conjunction with Super Pro. They just allow us to get a little bit of extra adjustability. The rears are now made of steel instead of plastic which is standard. And here is our HP torque control sway bars. We have a couple of different sizes depending on the applications. Uh, from 30 to 50 percent stiffer than stock. Then we have our HP torque control engine mounts. Now these are a rubber very much like the OE mounts. Uh, almost nil increase in vibration and noise. Great units. And then for those who want to be a little more serious this is the racing line subframe dog bone mount as opposed to our other version. So these certainly help stop the axle hopping uh, on launching especially. I'll just give you an indication where it all goes. So here is our subframe sitting out of our car. You will notice here is the dog bone mount. How it sits in. And you'll see how flexible it is in standard form. Here is the stock control arms sitting in place. You'll notice also that they are all fully rubber bushed. A lot of play in them. And here is the sway bar, the factory unit. So what I'll do is I'll take another short video once we've replaced all of those with the new components just to give you an idea how it all looks. Now you'll see our installation is uh, well underway. Getting a bit messy over here. Anyway, here's our control arms and our sway bar in place. Now what you'll notice is the action on the sway bar now just like a bearing. And same with our control arms. What this does is help us enormously when we've got to set the suspension up and corner weight the car. And you will see we now have the upgraded dog bone mount in. So we've reduced the amount of play that's in that unit as well. Okay, here's a shot of our components as installed into the car. You can see the control arms, the sway bar links, our sway bars coming across. A little bit hard to see under here. And you'll see our coilovers in place. And then in the rear end of the vehicle you'll see the new upside down damper from Racing Line. You'll see now that there's no standard spring in place. And here you'll see our anti-roll bar. Okay, here's the last section of our video on our chassis upgrades on our 7.5. All we've got to show you in the engine bay. There's our new HP torque control engine mount. This is on the engine side. Unfortunately, you can't see the gearbox side. It's underneath the battery in the airbox. And then what we have is our track sports coilovers. This is all you can see from the top here. Let's have to get the torch down low and you'll see the adjustable uh, mount on the top. 